My dudes, how's it going? What is up? Today I have something very exciting to bring you guys, but first, I'm going to drink my coffee. Gotta love me some coffee. Anyways, yesterday I made an appearance on a podcast. That is right, a podcast. I was on the American Wanderlove podcast hosted by Scotty and Leslie, two very cool people. Their podcast is all about creatives and adventuring and people who are trying to follow their passions. And so they contacted me and asked me if I would like to speak on it. And I said, for sure, I'd love to. So without further ado, here is the podcast. All of their links are in the description below. Check them out, very cool people, like I said. There is also no visuals to go along with the podcast, so I made a small slideshow that will just run in the back, but you can just minimize it and listen to the audio. There's nothing very exciting going on in terms of visuals. It's all about the audio. Anyways, here it is. Welcome to Living the Adventure of Life podcast with American Wonder Love. I'm Scotty. And I'm Leslie. And together, we, we are, are the American, American Adventure, Adventure couple. couple. As we journey throughout this experience, in each episode, you will hear from people all over the globe who are living their own adventure. We will explore their world to reveal the hidden secrets of their culture, goals, dreams, visions, and exactly what got them there. Let the adventure begin. Okay, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Good morning. We're so excited to be here, and we have a very, very, very special guest. We have Noah with us. Go ahead and tell a little bit about Noah. Yes, Noah. He is such an inspirational young man. He is 21 years old. He is a filmmaker and photographer who is living his dream life, traveling the world. Hello, Noah. How's it going, guys? Hey, we're uh, so excited to have you here share about your life and what you are up to and are creating. Yeah, thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, we're so happy to have you. And this is so good because we're huge fans and we just know you virtually. We don't really know you, who you are and what you're up to in life and what you're creating. But from a virtual standpoint, what we see is you're up to big things. You're choosing a different route in life. You're living in your passions and you're turning your passions into profit to create the life that you desire to live with total freedom. Um, so just real quick, who can you tell us a little bit about yourself, about how, how you are in where you're at right now as far as traveling, traveling the world, creating videos? Um, how did you get into what you're doing? Totally. So... I guess backing up a bit, I'm, I'm 21, like you guys said. Um, I, I started right out of high school. I jumped into university as, um, as is like expected. And so I was doing that and it was going all right. But something like there's never that click, never like, oh, I love this or I'm super interested in what I'm doing and learning. And I always knew that that was something that was important to me. I really wanted to be involved and really passionate about what I was doing. And I never felt that. And so I, I was making YouTube videos and online content and stuff like that while I was going through school. And I decided, you know what, maybe I should pursue this, pursue what I'm doing, because I, I love that. Um, and maybe just take a risk and, and try that out for a bit. And so um, I decided that I was going to fly to Asia for uh, four months with two of my best friends. And we, we did that just one day um, out on a whim. We bought some tickets and we flew out a couple months later. And the rest is history. We made videos or I made videos throughout that entire time. And um, yeah, things kind of took off and it's just been going from there. <laughs> well, wow. I think we can that relate is, to that. I think there's something absolutely. about Southeast Asia that gets that bites us very hard. That travel bug bites us and then the rest is history. So uh, we can relate to that. Um, I just want to really quickly... I don't want to pass this over. Your videos that you create are so, so good. I mean, we, we were watching I them last night, and we were like, this is like a movie. It's yeah. so good. The editing, the music, um, the graphics, the clarity. I mean, it's just really so good. So tell me a little bit. Um, I know you just said you did that throughout college, and you really became mm -hmm. passionate. So is it something that you've always been interested in even throughout high school did you teach yourself how to to edit and and record yeah so um well yeah just putting it out there when i was in university i was studying for business so nothing to do with cameras or youtube or anything this is like literally a total like 180 from what i was doing but um 
throughout it, kind of my entire childhood, I'd made videos. So this wasn't my first experience for sure, but there were different kinds of videos. So when I first, first started, maybe I was doing YouTube videos about computers and then I would do videos about video games and stuff like that. So it's always in the realm of online video, but never like full on going for it as potentially a job in the future. And um, never in the realm that I'm doing things now in the travel adventure lifestyle realm. And that's how you re you really kind of play it around with what you're passionate. About. You play it around with videos, doing different areas, but it was in that realm of online content of being a creator. For sure. Which is totally different from the business approach of the traditional beliefs that kind of we grow up in in society, in American society, and in the Western culture of what we need to do. So what was it? I know you said it, something wasn't clicking, but you mm -hmm. go on the traditional route after high school, you jumped into college. Yeah. And how many years did you spend in college before you decided, okay, this is not working. I want to feel more alive. I want to feel joy. I want to feel adventure in a career that I choose. Um, I was in for two and a half years. So I was, yeah, two and a half. So I was going into my third year and then um, and then I would just have a teeny bit more to go and I'd be done. But um, it, yeah, something just wasn't clicking. And so to me, I realized that um, there was there's more like for a long time, I was just caught up on the money aspect of my life. And I'm like, I need to go to university. I need to get a good job. I need to make a lot of money to sustain myself and my family. But as I continued going through that, I, I realized that I could not be doing what I was learning, say accounting or something. I could not be doing this personally for the rest of my life. I do not find joy in that. I do not find um, my, that's not my passion. And so to me, it was just an easy switch of going, okay, I need to switch things up and I need to do something else. Wow. Yeah, wow. Absolutely. And, you, and that's so awesome because you, you have the awareness of realizing, wow, this is not filling me up. I'm not passionate about this. And, and you made a stand, you made a decision, I'm not going to be doing this for another 20 years. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. My life, there's so much more to that. And I really too, I mean, I don't know exactly how Canada is, but I can speak for America. I mean, Noah, you are 21 years old. I mean, for Scotty and I, when we were 21, I mean, it was about, you know, going to the clubs. We were lucky if we showed up to university. <laughs> You know, we were just not in a place where we even thought about traveling the world and have it be our our life, our business, our um, career, so to speak. So let totally. alone actually doing it. So that alone to me just completely inspires me that there are young people out there that are completely creating their dream life and turning their passions into profit. So with that being said, I can just imagine that you do experience um, resistance around you know just being young and living the life mm -hmm, of your young. dreams what comes up for you around that um well honestly i've been very lucky like with my parents and stuff a lot of people my age would say oh my parents have wanted me to go to school and basically i need to go to school that not in my friend group that has been a thing where people have been like it's not an option for them right and so with my parents it was very much an option i they wanted me to go to school and that's why I originally went. But when I told them my plan and what my dream was and I told them, I'm like, I can do this. I, I, I'm, I'm going to put my all into it and I, I can do this. They're all for it. They're all for me following my dreams and what makes me happy. Right. That's awesome. And so in terms of that, there, there's been little resistance. I, I have a very good relationship with my parents. I love them so much. So, so great. Shout that out is, to mom and dad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always love it. mom and dad. Love Man, it. That, Love is, it. that is so empowering too because they, they're you're close. It sounds like you're really close with their family and oh, for sure. You guys have an awesome relationship and a and a you know family support is support, there support encouragement and yeah, they, they are totally for you, and that makes a massive difference in your belief in yourself and you know choosing to create the life that you desire to have. Yeah. So and you know with the resistance, what can of resistance you experience with yourself like the path that you're choosing are you fully confident that you are able to make this your lifestyle um that that's a really good question so i think 
if you're doing something like when I plan to do this and I'm continuing following it out, you have to have your your mind set on that it will work. I think thoughts are things. If you're going to think, yeah, I don't know about this, it's not going to work because you're not going to put your all. That's not where your actions are going to be. You, you have to be confident about it. So I am very confident, but I'm human. Of course, I have those doubts and thoughts that what if something doesn't work out or what if something doesn't go as planned? But something that's always stuck with me, and I don't think it's a quote, but kind of a, a state of mind is that if things don't work out, if everything goes to like not working out, there's nothing, there's no hope for what I'm following or my dreams, that I can always go back to the traditional route. I can finish up my schooling and I can get a job or I can go back to working the job I was working before and figure something else out. So to me, all of the experiences and things I'm going through now will never be wasted. I'm so happy I have those experiences of traveling or if you're following your dream, the experiences of doing something else. And if if nothing works out, you can always go back to plan B, right? Man. Man, Noah, you are giving me the chills over yeah, here. I got I'm the like chills so over here. fired up because I think that's so important for our viewers to get is what you just said. Truly, truly have that belief and go for it. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, you go back to your old life. Yeah. I mean, that life will still be there. And that's what we saw when we traveled um, for six months was, you know, that life was still there when we got back. Same exact life was still there. And we picked up really right where we left off. So that's totally. really mm -hmm. powerful to get. And relating to the mindset, Noah, it, I totally agree. Everything you know, revolves around our mindset, around our belief, mm -hmm. our vision, goals, dreams. Um, what kind of things, exercise, or what kind of resources do you use to keep your mindset on point, to stay at your highest level of self? What do you do? <laughs> Lots of caffeine. <laughs> Lots of caffeine. <laughs> yeah. No. Are you a um, coffee drinker? <laughs> <laughs> I try my best to, um, to, to stay healthy. So that's one thing I think is very important. So I, I try my best to, to go to the gym and, and just that that's where I get my release. That's where I, I feel my release of, um, all the pent up, uh, all the built up energy. And that's, um, what I do. I'm also, I'm a Christian. And so I, I find a lot of what I do and what I believe in God. And I, I love that so much. And that's a huge part of my life. And so, um, I guess those two things are really where, where that that's built my my morals and my vision and my goals and stuff like that. Man, absolutely. So the higher you know, you're Christian, you're a strong believer in God, and that's really what it's about is just having that higher purpose, something greater than ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that provides you total faith in the path you're pursuing. Totally. Yeah. So good. So good. Well, so I wanted to talk about, really, I mean, for our viewers, they're probably like, wow, this is so great, okay, this is awesome, but like, how, I'm sure all of our viewers are, how did you get started? I mean, we talked about college, you were making videos, but what were your first real steps in the quote-unquote business side of it? Did you create a website? Did you create a blog? I mean, when did you really start seeing that this is, wow, I'm kind of like, making this my life I'm making this my business yeah well um I think the most important thing and what a lot of people struggle with is just getting started the uh the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago but the second best time is now and so I think that uh that really resonated with me so it, it would have been better to start whatever you're doing whatever you want to pursues your hustle like a long time ago but if you're not going to the second best time is now and so the um just the idea of starting and whatever that be whatever that may be um whatever your your dream is it's just getting started and so for me i started out with producing videos um very often as often as i could um i put together a website portfolio of my work um and then sent out a ton of emails to different people regarding different things, business opportunities, stuff like that. It's just getting started, man. Yeah. So I hear networking and I know that's what we're learning networking. And really what we did with you is we reached out to you. We would love to interview you, have a, have you on our podcast. We'd be honored. And then here we are. So once again, I think it goes back to your message of just go for it. Just do it. Yeah. Get yourself totally. out there, reach out, 
send emails, connect, just connect with people. Yeah. And it's amazing what can open up from that. For sure. Yeah. And like you said, no, most people don't even get started. So yeah. with just reaching out to people, making those, you know, taking action, taking those big leaps where most people don't even begin, that's really what separates the people from the living, you know, the traditional life could be called mediocrity. And the yeah. other people who are living the life of their dreams, whatever that may look like for that individual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so good. So what, so what would you tell people for our viewers? Um, you know, if they have something holding them back and, you know, the term just go for it isn't, isn't cutting it for them, what else yeah. could you give them that might help them see that it really is possible to create any life that you desire to live? Even if that is having a family with your cute house and your job. I mean, maybe that's their dream life, but yeah. whatever it is to pursue that, what, what else could you give our viewers? I think that um, no matter what, what you want to do with your life, it's just important um, to, to be passionate about it. So whatever your idea is that you have, just be passionate and, um, and, and, and have a, a, have drive, like a work ethic towards that. And so I know that doesn't necessarily relate to like you're saying, having a family and a nice house, but it definitely does. If, um, if say that you want the, your, your dream house or something like that, it's just, I think being passionate and having drive is going to be your, your main tools into, um, creating that thing that you ha have in the back of your mind. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. so great. The so passion, great. passion is what fuels our spirit to, you know, step into that creative life space. Of creative and that, space. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Absolutely. And awesome. So, no, what what is, you know, past few years, how long have you been creating videos? And when you had that moment of things started to take off, when was that moment for you? Um, that moment for me, so I've been creating videos and, and things are going well. It definitely wasn't something that I considered. Like I always thought, like I said, when I, when I decided to go traveling that I want to turn into a job, but it became, um, clear that it was possible. Actually, the moment was when I was in the Philippines. So I was traveling with two friends and they left to go home early and I continued the trip on by myself. So I went to the Philippines by myself. So first off, that was a scary thing to do. Um, I, I wasn't super comfortable, especially I never traveled by myself totally. <clears throat> and so um, I did that. I was still creating videos, doing all that stuff. I met some really, really amazing people while I was there um, that were just awesome, supportive. They were so down to, to help me film videos and do what I was doing. And the video started getting views and taking off. And then I made a video kind of compiling the whole trip and how to travel the Philippines. And that's how a lot of people found me. Um, and then it's just slowly built from there. So great. Dude, I love that video, how to travel the Philippines. Yeah, so you guys have seen that. <laughs> yes, I love that. It's so well done. That's one and it brings of our back so a lot of memories country. because when we were there, we were watching the video like, oh man, Kawasan Falls, Bohol. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. All the spots. We love the Philippines. And so is that, when that movie, when you created that movie and it was released, that's the, the video that created a lot of momentum for you? Totally, yeah. Cool. It definitely was. Yeah, so that just shows, you know, your persistence, your drives, your passion. It only takes one video, <clears throat> or one person, one, one moment to transform the trajectory of what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, adding on to that, one of uh, one of the things that I have down here is like, so I said passion, and that's very important. Like you just said, I had been creating videos for so long. Like if you counted all the videos prior to starting this thing when I was doing stuff about computers and video games, I've been creating videos for years, and it took years for that one video to get views. The, the online world is very harsh. Not everything you create, even though you think it's awesome, Will take off and so there's a very long time of putting in the work and seeing absolutely no pay and no return which is harsh but it's yeah. true i'm glad that you followed up with that too that kind of creates a reality of the competition what it takes to you know be your version of a success in whatever you choose yes you said but if you have the passion 
then that shouldn't be an issue for you because you love what you're doing and you'll do it regardless. Right. And that, I think that's so important for the viewers to get is just do what you're passionate about regardless. And then like you said, if, you, if you're passionate about it, you're going to do it anyway. And then yes. when that moment comes and if you're, on, you know, if you're putting in the work and you're passionate, that moment will come, then you're already in the right place and set up for it anyway. So that's so great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the so I wanted to ask you, Noah, since, I mean, we are all world travelers here, and obviously that's like what we all love, so I can't, I can't go through this interview without asking, tell us, what is one of your most favorite, and people ask us this all the time, and I'm like, oh, that's the hardest question, but what is your favorite travel moment? If you could My favorite travel moment. And I, I know that's like <laughs> Let's say, such a hard question. Yeah. And you know, with that, with their favorite travel moment and the impact that it has had on your life, it could have been like a shift in perspective or appreciation or, you know, the moment I said, oh, this is what I want to do for my life. I want to explore yeah. the world, making videos, connecting with amazing people from all different cultures. I think... Um one, so let me just start off by, I have so many amazing memories um, with everyone, everyone I met along the way. But uh, I think one of the most defining moments, or one that sticks out clearly, the first thing that pops in my head when you say that, um, is like I just said, <clears throat> when I went to the Philippines by myself. And so I've been traveling with my friends for three months, and we've been together the entire time, and they wanted to go home, so they left. And I had to catch the bus to the airport and take the plane by myself to a foreign country that I've never been. Um, I've only heard scary things and, uh, I was, I was kind of freaking out and I didn't know anyone that there, I didn't know what I would do. I was just kind of going like out on a whim and it really pushed me out of my comfort zone. And so I did it obviously, but, um, I, I was scary. And I think that that really put into perspective, um, kind of just how how small we are on in the world but then the second i landed and the second i got to my hostel i met two amazing people nick and marie i traveled the entire time with them um some of my best friends now and then through that we met so many amazing locals and, and other travelers and then it really just brought back to how amazing people are and how how like can the connections you make can be so profound, even though we only were with each other for like a short amount of time. Like I still consider them some of my best friends. Yeah, that is amazing. I, and mean, I call those like, like little heartbreaks, little traveling heartbreaks, because <laughs> you know, you know, you connect with people you don't even know, but so fast you create this relationship. You get to know each other, and it's, you get to know who each other are. It's not about what yeah. you do; it's about who you are, and you get to know each other about who you are then then you know you know a couple of weeks or a month later that it's time to split up and those are little travel heartbreaks yeah it definitely is everyone who travels understands that uh that feeling of saying goodbye to uh the friends you've made and knowing that the chances of you seeing them again are slim yeah but the memory the memories with each other the moments of experience oh, totally life forever within our souls and our spirit I love yeah that. yep yep yeah, so that was very profound to me, just remembering feeling so alone and like being sad. I was genuinely sad sitting in the hostel that night when I first arrived and then meeting friends and being like total 180, uh, I'm happy again, well, have some friends to so travel the country about, with. It, that's what's so powerful about traveling. I mean, you really are never alone, even when you are a quote unquote solo traveler. There's yeah. always people like you shared that was just so touching, like just truly to connect with and be with, whether that is other travelers or the locals, and they truly just want to get to know you. And that's just um, something that we're not used to in a lot of westernized yeah. cultures. Totally. Awesome. No, as we're coming to an end in this episode of Living the Adventure of Life, what is your what are your future plans? What are the next steps, you know, within the next three years or five years? Um, big things, big things. I like to think. Um, <laughs> so definitely a lot more travel. That is like the center of my brand and who I am. It's, I love to travel. That is my passion. That is my dream. But, um, yeah. So like you guys said, you guys are going to India and Nepal and all that stuff soon. I'm actually leaving on the 11th of November to, uh, do that trip. 
so a four months trip there. Um, that's in the upcoming future. And then beyond that, I'm planning, uh, I have a lot of plans with my business and the way I'm going to run things and monetize and, and kind of the deeper inner workings of business. I'm really trying to learn and um, soak in all the information I can so I can actually put it to action and put it to use. Yeah, that's amazing. And you're, you're young, you have the freedom right now to soak all that up. Totally. And one yeah. little question I'll add on to that since you said, you know, you're really changing kind of the way you're doing business and really having a lot of big things coming. Do you follow um, anyone specific or do you have kind of a business mentor that you work with that helps you lead you lead your business on the path that you desire to have? I honestly don't. I have uh, the great online resource of Google and YouTube, two of the best things. Um so I use those a lot, um, whether it be any question I have looking for tips and tricks and stuff like that. There's no one in particular that is my mentor. Um, I would say my dad's a mentor in terms of financials. He's very good with financials. But um, in terms of like a business mentor, not really. Um, that's something I'm looking for and, and something that I'd love to uh, find, but I'm not kind of searching for that right now, I guess. So you are just learning everything on your own and just taking the huge leaps of faith and figuring it out. That That is very much so what I'm doing, yeah. That is awesome. And to uh, with your videos, I mean, you create these videos. What is a message that you're trying to get out to people and what you're sharing with the world? That um, That's actually something that I've been thinking a lot of recently because – um, for a long time, I was just creating videos, and then I was trying to see what was the message that I was trying to portray and get across, and it, it's recently dawned on me that I, I think my message is follow, obviously, follow your passion, follow your dream, but be authentic and be yourself for, for anything you do. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're doing videos or, or you're working at home, but I think it's so important to be authentic, be yourself lift other people up and um yeah be kind honest respectful all those amazing things i think that is what i'm trying to get across in my videos just living a better life aspiring to be a better person type thing wow that's no, totally uh, man i love it and i love the message just being authentic kind living in your passion and sharing your passion to inspire people all over the world through your videos Awesome. Yeah. And Noah, tell us, how can our viewers find you? What's your Facebook name? Where's the best place for them to find any of your resources and content? All of my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, YouTube. I don't use Twitter, but um, <laughs> all of my all of my social medias are just Noah, N-O-A-H, and then V-D-E. All right. Man, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for being on with us. It has Thank you so much for having me, guys. It's been so great. Make sure you follow Noah, N-O-A-H-B-B-E. We're American Wonder Love, and I believe we are out. We're out. <laughs> Thank you for adventuring with us and making this such an incredible experience. Tune in each week for more interviews with people all over the globe to keep you inspired and bring you insight to begin the adventures into you. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and our Adventure TV series on the American Wonderlove YouTube channel. Peace, Peace love, and adventure. adventure. Scotty, Scotty and Les, Les out. out. My dudes, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, Scotty and Leslie, all of their links will be down below. Check them out, really do. They're awesome people. I noticed <laughs> I noticed from doing that that I, I need to work on my public speaking, my ands and buts and ums and stuff, like my connecting words, I use those far too often. So I will work on that, but I mean, don't knock me. I'm not a public speaker, maybe one day. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you so much. And I We'll see you all in another one.